for the benefit of people who haven't seen your work, would you like to first introduce yourself and tell us what is it that you do? Okay. Um, so I'm Chase Shield, um, and I uh, customise uh, sneakers uh, using different materials um, and fabrics. Um, and then just working with, uh, with, other, with other creatives, you know, building uh, the shoes from, from the ground up um, and uh, bringing their uh, and my ideas to life. So tell us Chase, how do you first get into the sneaker culture and then into sneaker customization? So I um, started making um, uh, shoes about 10 years ago. It started off in men's traditional uh, footwear, um, but it was something that you know, I wasn't quite uh, interested in. Um, but I was still interested in you know, creating something um, from scratch. Just using different materials, um, um, you know, mainly leathers, but also um, you know, kind of fabrics. Uh, so that's where I kind of stumbled on um, men's sneakers. Could you talk us through a little on your ideation process? How do concepts come about and where do you draw your inspirations from? So it's definitely changed uh, throughout the years. Um, yeah, a lot of it was, was more um, personal. Um, but you know, I've got to a place now where it's, um, it's more working with, with other creatives, um, as well as it kind of um, talking through potential ideas with, with friends um, and other uh, designers. And it kind of evolves from there. I saw that you got to work with Hollywood stars like Kevin Hart and even an NBA star Tyler Ulyss. That's crazy. How did it, how did it happen? Uh, so I suppose it was um, having a, a good uh, concept, um, but also a lot of luck. Um, I was uh, lucky enough they both kind of uh, reached out to me and, and uh, actually DM me uh, personally. personally. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So with Kevin Hart, um, it was just after um, we kind of started promoting. Um, the, the weather spoon, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I was getting a lot of lot of DMs. So I was kind of scrolling through them, and then uh, this blue tick um, popped up, and um, and I had to yeah, kind of check three or four times to make sure it was actually Kevin Hart. Uh, and yeah, when it was, uh, I was, was more than happy uh, to to send him a link, and yeah, he um, yeah he, he purchased two pairs. What would you say is the end goal for you, and where do you see yourself maybe in the future? Uh, so at the moment I'm, I'm quite comfortable and, and uh, really enjoying doing uh, the custom sneakers um, and working with other creatives. Has any of the brands personally reached out to you to uh, I've, do something collaborative? I've, I've had a lot of um, independent brands uh -huh. kind of, uh, get in touch with me and, and um, done some, some samples and, and prototypes but I think a lot of them don't realise you know, the kind of effort that, that goes into right, it and yes. it's not as, not as simple as yeah, kind of creating that one sample, sending it off and yes. you, know, you, you get it right first time. There's, yeah, there's a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. I have gone to the Nike um, HQ in Portland, Oregon and um, yeah, it was, it was good to see that um, you know, the people that I did meet there were so supportive of um, you know, customs and, and mm -hmm. the, you know, the creativity that can bring to, to their brand. You know, I'm really um, enjoying working with custom sneakers um, and, and other creatives in that field. Um, but I'd love to eventually get into um, you know, my own designs um, and yeah, kind of seeing where it goes from there. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much, Chase, for coming down to speak to us. Thank you for having me. You can check out more of his works in the links below and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Yeah, yeah.